Our beaches and reefs bring in visitors, and that brings in big bucks. And a nonprofit in Hawaii Kai taking steps to protect and build back the reefs around Oahu. Our scuba certified reporter, Kimber Collins, takes us underwater in a story you'll only see on Island News. Experienced divers are working to protect a $35 billion industry. I'm going diving with the Ocean Alliance Project, working to collect data in the Mauna Loa Bay to help make reefs more resilient in the future. Four days of measuring, counting, and collecting data. These divers are searching for signs of a healthy reef, such as cushioned sea stars, known as indicator species. By understanding where those species are and how they're interacting and, and how they're cooperating, it gives us really good insights into the overall health of our ecosystem. Ocean Alliance Project teams up with Kiska and Island Divers to survey growth at a coral monitoring plot, Turtle Canyons. When we go down, we're going to lay down a measuring tape along the reef. That's going to give us our area that we're surveying. We then have teams of two that are going to be working and cooperating together to swim along that and get basically just give tally marks of the organisms that they're seeing. Ocean Alliance hosts four-day ecological monitoring dive courses open to certified divers that want to make their hobby more impactful. We got to pair up and actually look. It was kind of like a scavenger hunt underwater trying to find the indicator species, so it was really fun. The team's data gets entered into a mother sheet with more than 150 right, so other surveys so far to help restoration projects grow and adapt where needed. For example, Dylan and his team showed me an ongoing reef resiliency project in the Bay, actively growing coral proven to handle more changing climate conditions. By bringing in more thermally resilient corals, outplanting the reef so that it can thrive for generations. It's not just going to die in 10, 20, 30 years. It'll be around for the rest of our lives, our kids' lives, their grandkids' lives, and it'll continue to thrive. Learn more about their initiative and events on our website, KITV.com. Kimber Collins, Island News.